So here is my dragon fruit. Started off with a bunch of seeds. Um, just in this little coffee can right here. Um, but there were bugs that got in and started eating all my little seeds. So I just have this one, but it just started to sprout. I can't see it there though. Um, starting to get the little head on it with the spikes. So it seems to be doing well and I'm keeping it out where the bugs were, I guess. Um, and then over here, I've got, looks to be six strawberry guavas. And this one seems to be doing the best. It's going on its third set of leaves. Um, I just ordered some seeds, and some of them are from ones that I ate, but I'm hoping they're tastier than the one that I had to eat. <laughs> it wasn't very good. But those are my fruit. Well, I got one more fruit. Tons of fruit trees, but not all mine. This is my avocado, and that doesn't look good. But this main stalk right here looks really good. It's got a bunch of little seedlings right there, little sprouts. Um, I might let them go. We'll see. I had a big one right here. You can see the stump, but it's probably about halfway up um, so but this looks kinda like it's dying right here so I might just cut that off and see how this grows but I started as in the water with some toothpicks like I read about and it took forever for it to grow and now I've had it out here for about nine months or so it's probably like two and a half feet tall almost but it doesn't seem to be getting like woody at all I mean right here but it's just kinda hard I don't know if that's actual wood or if it's dying it's kinda woody at the bottom but that's about it so. um, yeah that's all I got with my fruit and then I repotted these the other day. Um, I was surprised because this one has a couple of let's see, little flowers on it. One's dying, so I might just pull him off, see how he does. I got three in there, and then I got my two split rocks that are currently splitting, and my Echivaria, which I really like. Ever since I had to pull a couple of leaves off the top. It's really started to grow again, um, and I got two separate ones, one and two, started growing by themselves, so I was happy. And then this barrel cactus, um, I just repotted them into small ones so I could bring them in. And then I got these guys, they're hanging in there. This one has probably four sprouts, or two right there, you can see right on the bottom. And this one I picked up the other day, I finally couldn't resist anymore and got him. I pulled all his buds off. And then the sensitive plant, um, as you can see, very, very green and doing well. It died all of a sudden, but then it came back. And then I have my aloes here. Got the two big ones and this new sprout just came up the other day, so he's doing well, but I don't know what the problem is. All the leaves are turning a little bit brown on the edge. Um, so I'm hoping since I repotted them, they'll do better. And then, the aloe vera, after a, a quick death, I pulled it out and let it just dry out. I think I just overwatered it, which is a bad habit of mine altogether. Um, but it seems to be doing well. I think it's starting to curl and it's brown at the edges, but I think that's alright. But any tips would be great, and just some cosmos I planted the other day. And then, this is the one that I got from a friend of mine. It started off as this, and then over the summer it sprouted up about a foot. So it's doing good. And then I have a bunch of prickly pears sprouted all around here. And just a couple, like this is that one pup I pulled off. As you might be able to see. 
And that's my best cricket bear. About an inch tall. And I just got a bunch of them around. And then the burrito succulent. And the cactus in the middle and another succulent. I can't remember which one it is though. But altogether doing pretty well. And I'm pleased.